Like every other day, commuters are rushing to be the early morning gridlock. And here at the Domi Market, tricycles are in high demand. It helps us a lot. You see, sometimes when you are going to campus and Trasha is not coming, you can pick this to the village and then proceed from there. Unlike regular vehicles, tricycles provide a quicker and cheaper alternative for most commuters, and so it is most preferred. From Domi to Pilatu. Taxi G3 cities, 80 pesos. I can't 20 pesos. Now I have four cities. From Domi to Pilatu, taxis take three cities, 80 pesos. Tricycles take three cities. You can use the 80 pesos to buy sachet water. But as their demand increases, the dangers associated are glaring. From dangerous riding techniques to the lack of licenses, to underage riding, the risks are on a constant rise. But more importantly are the issues on the commercial use of tricycles, which per the law are prohibited. Legislative instruments like the prohibition of use of motorcycle and tricycles for commercial purposes, Regulations 128, Sub-Regulation 1 states that licensing authorities shall not register a tricycle or motorcycle to carry a fair paying passenger. The law exists only on paper. It's a raging debate whether or not to regulate the use of tricycles in Ghana. And while major regulations are in place to prevent their commercial use, there's rather growing encroachment of tricycles in major cities and towns. Call it political expediency if you want, but clearly there's a lack of political will to either regulate or ban the use altogether. In November 2021, tricycles were banned from using major highways in Accra. They still do. In Kumasi, tricycles have taken over major routes and the city authorities are struggling to deal with it. The decision to ban the tricycles from the central business district has been met with strong resistance with the argument that it is often an important source of employment. The employment element has made the tricycle conversation political too. In Kumasi, a significant number of the operators are in the Asawasi constituency. And the MP says, if required, he will lead a demonstration against the directive. Transport consultant George Chiadakwa is worried about the seemingly unleveled ground among politicians and their willingness to settle this issue once and for all. It is not even about regulation. It is about the weaknesses of the law and the political unwillingness to take the bar from the streets. If a government has failed in its pursuit of granting people employment, does that mean people should take upon themselves and do things that are on safety? It remains uncertain whether or not government will finally clamp down on commercial tricycle use. Till then, the operations persist, as does the fury of other motorists and the struggle of city authorities and politicians to deal with it. Judith Chitando, TV3 News, Accra.